Hello everyone! The clip you're about to hear is from one of our exclusive Patreon episodes on a recent horror release, and just like all of our other episodes, it might include major spoilers for said horror release, so don't listen to it if you haven't already seen it. You've officially been warned. And if you'd like to hear the full episode, just head on over to patreon.com slash horrorqueers and subscribe today. Without further ado, here is your exclusive Patreon clip. We've had some really great conversations on this podcast. We've really dug into movies. There's been some things that movies have had to say, right? Like I'm thinking back to our discussions last month about politics in Bodies, 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 and they Mm -hmm. slash them, like, you know, meaty stuff that we were able to unpack. But every once in a while, you just want a movie where you can throw it on and be like, this is a blast. I'm really enjoying myself. It's just an undeniably good time. And I did not expect to find that in Orphan fucking First Kill. No. But I am so happy that I did. It's so funny, Joe, because it was... So basically, while I was watching the first half of this movie, I went to Letterboxd to see if any of our critics had, you know, put their like little star rating online. And it was only mm-hmm. you and one other person. And I read your, your blurb, which was just, Julia Stiles says fuck a lot. And I was like you know, almost to the halfway point. I was like, well, she hasn't said fuck once in this movie. So I mm. guess um, I guess when shit hits the fan, she's going to start really cussing this girl out. Right. Boy, oh boy, <laughs> did I not anticipate where this was going to go. <laughs> <laughs> um. Okay, so maybe let's stop dancing around yeah. this a little bit. Uh, folks, this is your final spoiler warning. We are strongly recommending this movie if you are just looking for a fun fucking yeah. night definitely hit play okay so trace (laughs) just Just go ahead get it out (laughs) i mean i remember when we saw that julia styles was cast in this movie we were excited because we felt like we haven't seen her in forever we both have a lot of goodwill towards her she doesn't always pick the best of projects and like Mm -hmm. recently she's been in a bunch of garbage like she was on that terrible riviera show that nobody watched for about three seasons so i was really excited but also i thought well what is she going to be doing in this movie is she just going to be playing some fucking mom role and i love that she is this rich white bitch (laughs) who is just cussing up a storm and talking like telling the small looking child who was obviously yes a 31 year old woman she's like well i'm gonna go fuck my husband (laughs) okay okay okay. i'm sorry if you haven't seen this and you're like wait what's the twist okay the twist is that julia roberts is i mean julia Julia roberts Roberts. (laughs) Would watch, would watch. <laughs> the twist is that Julia Stiles is a psychopath, a sociopath. Mm-hmm. I don't. <laughs> she's and a sociopath. Yeah. I mean, the line of dialogue where she's just like, "So you're a 31 year old dwarf in a child, like in a child's body." <laughs> I was mm-hmm. like, the movie is just having a blast with this, and Stiles is having a blast with this. I mean. Mm-hmm. The, outside of yes the first half's pacing being kind of like eh because it's just kind of repeating the same beats as the original yes i wanted it to happen earlier because i wanted more of this styles and Furman mm-hmm. going toe to toe with each other yeah and then we should talk about the fact that there's also an older in brackets and quotation marks brother gunner who is played by matthew finland and basically once this twist comes out that yes okay so esther is the youngest daughter of this super rich family and it turns out that the older brother killed her in some kind of accident and then julia styles as trisha covered it up for him because she was like i'm not gonna lose both kids <laughs> okay bitch <laughs> like a, a, a first of all i love that we don't because like i f- I remember after the re- the first reveal happened with Styles, and I was like, okay, and I wasn't fully sure if the son was in on it, or if he, like, I don't know, forgot that he killed his sister, or if something mm-hmm. happened. And then when it's revealed that, no, it's just this mother and son that are working against the father. <laughs> yes. They're, well, not even working against them, they're just doing it so that they can keep the family unit together. Like, they want to go on pretending everything's totally fine, which makes perfect sense like i get it it is absolutely sociopathic behavior like he is clearly a burgeoning serial killer because as soon as he finds out that esther is obviously not the real esther and she is just impersonating the daughter Mm -hmm. he starts like making insinuations that he's gonna murder her nobody will miss her if she goes missing but you know trisha the mom 
says, okay, well, we can make this ruse last, except that none of them trust each other. So from there on the rest of the film, it's like watching one of those murder mysteries where people are just trapped in a small space and they don't, they don't believe that the other ones won't try to murder them. So like, you're just watching them (laughs) bitching and backstabbing for like the next 45 minutes. And it is so fun it is so entertaining i mean like i julia styles it's so funny because i was like oh look she's doing another evil kid movie because she did the Mm -hmm. omen remake and she's out of the movie before she she even makes a presence whereas with this one i was like okay we're just doing the same shit again no we're not i'm also a little surprised she took it because i've read interviews with her where she doesn't like horror movies and like the omen was her one where she was like i'll dip my hands i'll try it (laughs) yeah and it's not just horror it's like you know this classic film blah 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 so I was shocked when I saw her sign on to this because I was like, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> so you're going to sign on to a Dark Castle prequel of a Dark mm-hmm. Castle ridiculous horror film that yes. had a moderately okay reception. But like, I mean, I wouldn't call it highbrow art. <laughs> no. no, I mean, it, it's obviously well made because of its director. Oh, yeah. And then it coasts on the twist and Isabel Furman's uh, mm-hmm. performance here this feels like julia styles thought you know what i want to come back in a mainstream film where i just get to be the evil stepmother like i just want something i can sink my fucking claws into and just have a blast because she is clearly having so much fun in this movie ah atlas ever a long stretch of road that encompasses everything the city of Kennet Heights has to offer. Neon lights, traffic, crime, the hustle and bustle of everyday life, and the craziest of characters. My office was above it all. My name is James Locke, and I'm a P.I. Hello, Mr. J. How the hell you doing today? Good, Edith. Nearly every year I have a new case. New people to meet, new clues to discover, and new problems to solve. But I do it the old-fashioned way. No technology. Nothing post-1950. Hell, I don't even listen to podcasts, but you should. Atlas Avenue Beat is a spoof of the film noir genre with goofy characters, tons of wordplay, and non-stop raunchy humor. There's also three whole seasons out right now with more on the way. Just search for Atlas Avenue Beat wherever you listen to podcasts or visit us online at bloody.fm. It was late in the afternoon when the professor and I took our way towards the east, whence I knew Jonathan was coming. Jonathan Harker has asked me to note this, as he says he is hardly equal to the task, and he wants an exact record kept. Dear Madam Mina, I have read your husband's so wonderful diary. Strange and terrible as it is, it is true. I will pledge my life on it. God preserve my sanity, for to this I am reduced. Safety and the assurance of safety are things of the past. I am in hopes that I shall see more of you at Castle Dracula. <laughs> listen to Regarding Dracula wherever you listen to podcasts, or find us online at bloody.fm.